See, charge, charging. Is there not like a charge? Uh, what would you charge it with then? Let me see if it says for the charged one. Electric wrench. Hang on, let me see if I can track down what I'm going to have to charge this thing with. Industrial craft. Generator, solar panel. Uh-oh. I think actually I can put it into one of these, into one of these storage, energy storage machines, and it can, re it can uh, fill it up with, with energy. I'm hoping, because that's what I'm going to end up trying to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, unless I see one that says, like, charger or something, which I don't think I'm going to find one. Okay, energy o -Met. I don't know what that is. Yeah, so it's probably going to be just putting it into one of the storage units. Um, so let's get one of those started. But before we do that, I have to make one of the forge hammers. And actually, maybe I should make a metal former first. So let me get the forge hammer made real quick. Do I have sticks? Let's just, let's just make some. It's fine. Okay, so I need two sticks. And then I need some iron, which I have a bunch of. Not a bunch, but enough. So let's do that. Put those around. We have a forge hammer. Let's start working on the metal former. Okay, so we need an electronic circuit, which is... Uh, cooked rubber. So let me see if do I have any rubber already? I don't. Okay, so we need to cut down some rubber trees real quick. Uh, and we actually need to make a tree tap first. That would be helpful. So let's get a tree tap from Industrial Craft, which is just planks. So let's do that. Okay, so like this is a tree tap. And then there are some uh, IC2 rubber trees near my base that I saw. Let me see if I can spot them from here. Yeah, I can see them from here. So let's go and check that out. I don't know if there's any... Uh, I forget what the other mod is that has rubber trees. But uh, there is another mod that spawns rubber trees with a different texture. Might be a mine factory reloaded, but I'm not sure. But let's just go and find the uh, industrial craft ones first. There they are. So let me get that. See if there's any more here. There's some. I've only gotten one. Where's the other one? Where's the other? Oh, it's on here. There we go. Okay. Cut down this tree. So we need to get rubber and then we need copper cables. So we need to make a set of cutters as well. Let me actually break down this tree. And maybe I'll get a sapling? No. Would have been nice, but I guess not. Okay, that's all right. Let's try this one. There's not even any rubber on this one. Oh, did I get one? No. There's no rubber on this rubber tree. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, is there another one? Yeah, there's one more right here. Let's try this one. No sapling. No rubber as well. This one didn't have any rubber either. What the heck is going on? That's really weird. That normally, like, never happens. But there's a bunch of them right here, so let's get them from here. Actually, a ton. A metric butt ton. 
not a metric button, a metric button. We need one more just for now, and then we'll get more later if we need to get it. Okay, so let's head on back and get this stuff smelted up into the rubber that I'm going to use for the insulated cables. And then we can get to work on more things for the metal former. Because what the metal former is going to allow me to do is not have to use this forge hammer. I think. Right? Let me see. So iron plate. Oh, it's only one? Wow. Okay, so in expert mode, to make one of the iron plates, it requires two with that forge hammer instead of one, which is incentive to go ahead and make the metal former. But if it's only going to be the one then I will just go ahead and make... Okay, I found it, and I actually need to do something um, before I get really any machines done. Um, I'm gonna make... My first machine is gonna be an extractor from IC2. So here it is right here. It's four tree taps, a basic machine casing, and still one of these conduits. So I still do need the rubber, um, which is good to know because I went and got it already. So let's put some of this coal downstairs with the rubber. We'll go ahead and, uh, oh, where did my furnaces go? Oh, I left them upstairs, didn't I? All right. Come on, no brain farts this early on. We can't, can't have that. Okay, so let's put these down. We'll just leave them in here. Put one there. We'll put one here here and here why not oh because i can't open it Psst. uh there perfect okay so we'll do that and then we'll put our resin in and that will start making us some rubber and then we need a couple we need four tree taps that are not used at all so let me go ahead and do that there we are so four tree taps and then we needed a basic machine casing, right? So that was eight iron, and I don't think I have any more here. So let me pour out an iron block outside. Get the iron at the bottom. We have 80 ingots of iron. That's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So we'll wait for that to get all up into a block. And let's go ahead and make eight iron plates. And then we can make those into a machine casing. This all seems so simple to me. Like you might be watching this and not watch my expert mode series and be thinking, oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. But compared to expert mode, this is a walk in the park. It's like, it's really easy. Okay, I need to make some cutters as well. So that's going to be three iron plates and two iron ingots, which means I need some more iron too. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll pour out an extra ingot just because we can. Or two. Or three. Cool. Got some iron going. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that iron into ingots. So we needed three plates, right? One, two, three. Three plates. And then two ingots. One, two, three. And then one, two. So there's the cutter. And then we need some copper plate. Oh, do I have... Actually, I don't have any copper in here. Okay, so let me pour out some copper too. Which we have 56 of, which is pretty... Good. We need a couple of copper plates to turn into wire. Let me see. So copper wire, copper cable. There it is. Yeah, okay. So I need three ingots to make three planks. Three planks? <laughs> three plates. So one, two, three. And then get three plates cutters up there get three plates into cables we'll attach those to the rubber that'll give us the insulated copper cables and then we need two redstone and another piece of iron I think or maybe an iron plate let me see I think it's an iron plate let's go ahead and do that 
and that. And then we'll put that together as our electric circuit. There we go. So electric circuit, machine casing, extra. Oh, and then the four uh, tree taps on the sides. One, two, three, and four. Oh, other way. There we go. So what this is going to allow us to do is take these rubber wood logs and turn them into uh, rubber. So if I look here, where is it? Extractor. So I can turn Mine Factory Reloaded or Industrial Craft wood into rubber so we won't have to worry about um, just tree tapping the trees. We can just keep growing the rubber trees themselves and then cutting down the wood and then putting them in the extractor and getting rubber that way if we need rubber. But in order to power that extractor, we need to make a generator. So the generator is right here. We need to make an iron furnace first. So that's five iron plates and a uh, furnace. So five iron plates, one, two, three, four, five. There we are. We'll put that down here. And we got one, two, three, four, five iron furnace. And then we needed a battery, right? What kind though? RE battery. So we need an insulated tin cable, four tin item casings, which means we need four tin ingots, which we're actually going to make. Um, before I do that, what is a grindstone from? I think it's from Applied Energistics, right? Yeah. So let's make one of those real quick. Because the grindstone is going to allow us to break down things that I don't want to put in the smeltery into dust to make two of things. Because um, if I put the tin in the smeltery, it's going to mix with the copper, and I just want the raw tin. I don't want it to mix into copper. Okay, so what was it? It was two stone and two, or three stone and two cobblestone. I don't have any regular stone, do I? Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three stone and two regular cobblestone. I keep clicking on the wrong one for my uh, for my crafting table. Oh, am I missing something? Yeah, it's just colored stone. Will cobblestone work? No. Okay. So just those two on the bottom, and then we need three stone. There's two. We need one more. Just to make the grindstone, um, you know, so we can get the tin without uh, missing out on getting duplicate. Okay, so there's a grindstone and then we need to make a, uh, one of those things, a crank. So we'll put this down, oh, we're running out of room. Uh, here? No, we can't put it there, it's just a torch there. Um, we'll go ahead and put it down right there. Right, will that work? And we'll put that down up there. And if we put this tin into here, then we just need four of it, right? Four or five. Let me see. So for the generator, we needed one tin cable. So yeah, we need five. Where's the crank? So I need five. So I'll go ahead and crank all of that tin into tin dust. And once the crank stops moving, that means that we've gotten the tin that we need. Um, and I can stop and put it into the furnace to start making some ingots. You can see it kind of stutter too whenever it finishes um, grinding an ore. But it's kind of hard to notice, so I don't really rely on that uh, method of knowing when to stop. There we go. Okay, so we have eight tin dust. Let's throw that into the furnace beneath it. There we go. Okay, so that's going to make us some tin. And then what else do we need for the generator? We needed three more iron plates. So let's get those made while the tin is cooking up. One, two, three. Bam. Okay. And then what else was for the, uh, this, the RE battery? Oh, two redstone. Okay. So two redstone. A tin cable, which luckily we have the extra rubber for. There's our three tin. Oh, we needed more than that, did we? That's fine. OK, 
Okay, so we needed four for the... Um, we actually need to turn these plates into... Oh, oh! I only need four of those, and then I can turn this one into a uh, cable. Cool. I, I didn't know that it made more than um, one or two or whatever it was. Okay, so we can make our RE battery like that. We put the IRE battery on top, the three iron plates in the middle, and the iron furnace on the bottom. We got a generator. So this will be able to generate powder, I think, from coal. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what it runs off of. But let me go ahead and put this downstairs with the extractor and see if I can get it going. So we'll put the generator here and the extractor, I don't know, here, I guess. Uh, and then, yeah, probably, just working on IC2 and getting started. Yep. 